Clare haven't actually won the title since 1978. So then, who would reach this year's decider to face Tipperary? And Marty Morrissey was in Semple Stadium to find out. In the absence of Henry Shefflin and DJ Carey, Jimmy Coogan now assumes the role of top scorer. With 23 points in the campaign, he leads an attack with many unfamiliar names, except for centre forward John Parr. Andy Comerford and Aidan Cummins are paired at midfield, with Eamon Kennedy at centre back. There's one late change in the Clare team. Alan Markham is injured and his place is taken by Whitegate's end of Flannery. With Sean McMahon still injured, John Redden from Six Mile Bridge now wears the number six. Ollie Baker and Colin Lynch form their usual partnership at centre field with James E. O'Connor on the 40. That ball comes down towards Colin Lynch. Over towards David Ford. At that uh, far corner. Marshall in, this in towards Barry Murphy. A bit of a rash clearance, it must be said, by Paddy Mullally. James E. O'Connor beating Garou of Considine. And Claire are two points to the good. Despite the terrible weather, Simple Stadium pitch here is in just beautiful condition. It's like a carpet. John Powell getting involved for the first time. That's good work by Tom Drennan. John Red made quite an impact at club level at centre half forward, but uh, now back at centre half back for his county. Andy Comerford sending this in dangerously towards a full forward line that is by far the strongest line as David Buggy gets Kilkenny's first score after uh, just almost four minutes of play. Claire come away with it. Got all the Considine from the Cracklow Club. Has a goal and that's four attempts and four points for Claire. From a strategic point of view, the Clare centre fielders are changing wings all the time. So too are the wing forwards on the Flannery and Godot Considine. This time it's Andy Comerford that sends this dropping in towards David Fitzgerald. And the ball is in the net. A most uncharacteristic mistake by Davy Fitz. Perhaps blinded by the sunshine, he opted to catch it. And really, perhaps the hurley should have been used because he had all the time in the world. Ball dropping in towards Davy Fitz. As you can see, nobody around him and opted to go up to catch it and it just slipped through his grasp. James E. O'Connor has that uh, composure that a uh, few great players have. That's the ability to just look around and balance himself. Sends in a good ball towards... David Ford. Great point for the corner forward from Ogunalo. Ryan Lohan. That's his brother Frank to leave it. Sends it down the way. Nine ball Claire. Brian Cody against uh, a Claire side that are very determined. Must be concerned because he has wind advantage. Molly Baker. That's a great cut. Up towards Gilly. Niall Gilligan. Makes an angle for himself and taps it over the bar. But all counts now. Showing tremendous confidence. Oh, Claire just out of the minor ranks. And good vision. That's a great ball. Back to Colin Lynch who sends it just over the crossbar. That's a great point, created by Garoud Considine, who finished splendidly by Colin Lynch. Well, I have to say, it's almost like a hurricane in Simple Stadium. And Claire under pressure here as this ball is carried away by the wind, almost towards Brian Lohan, like a magnet. And Lohan gets it down this side, not very far. Comes to Alan Gagan. Kilkenny will hope to make use of the wind and a brilliant save. That more than makes up for the uh, earlier concession of a goal. Kilkenny will be satisfied, I'm sure, with a point. Amazing scenes, though, in Thurless. This you wouldn't see in January 
never mind the last few days of April. John Red. Intercepted by John Power. Frank Lohan has lost the helmet. Comes back to John Power. And that will raise a wide flag. Richly deserved. A Trojan worker for Kilkenny. Good work by David Ford. Did well to uh, knock it away. Barry Murphy now has it. Kyle Gilligan wanted to, to the hand, but Barry Murphy sends it over the bar. Third point of the match. In the corner forward from Scarf. Liam Doyle anticipates well. Sends it over towards Barry Murphy's corner. Good old Considine is support for him. Barry Murphy's doing well, playing confidently. Coming from centre field is Ali Baker, cutting it across. James McGarry drops it, and the ball is in the mix. James O'Connor capitalises on the mistake by the Kilkenny keeper and possibly sends Clare into the league final. It's early days, but it's a rather intimidating scoreline from a Kilkenny perspective. Eddie Brennan has now been introduced, and also on since half-time is Dennis Byrne. Now Gilligan. That's very good play. Fourth point of the match. With a full forward from Six Mile Bridge. Liam Doyle underneath this. Stephen Graham leaves it for Jimmy Cogan. Up towards David Buggy. Scoops it out for Dennis Bryan. Jerry Quinn with him. Nice turn by Dennis Bryan and a very good point. Sean Mealy, end of Flannery. Now finds David Ford. Eamon Kennedy comes into challenge. A great pace by the wing forward from Madonna Switches it across. There's a chance here for Barry Murphy. The ball is crawling in over the line. The clear attack completely opening up the Kilkenny defence. That is an incredible scoreline. Enda Flannery spotted that David Ford was in space. He stepped aside the challenge of Eamon Kennedy. Great vision by the corner forward to see his colleague from the full forward line available. And Barry Murphy just got it at just over the, the end line. Good score. This is Andy Comerford. James e. O'Connor for being uh, do, doing a lot of work around that centre forward role. Jimmy Coogan. Liam Doyle. John Power coming through. Flicking it on. There's a chance here. Oh! That hit the uh, back extension, and that is a goal for Kilkenny. Eddie Brennan to score. Let's just check this. John Power got inside the clear cover. Eddie Brennan pulled in it first time. Well, I'm not too sure about that, I must say. Good pull by Tony Griffin. Knocked down by Eamon Kennedy. Stephen Graham. Over towards Dennis Byrne and Charlie Carter again. Brian Lohan. Doesn't hang about. But the clearance is not a good one. David Fitzgerald comes off his line and gives it straight to Jimmy Cogan. It's not a good day at the office for David Fitzgerald. Kilkenny's third goal is undoubtedly a gift. As Jimmy said thank you from Davy, and the net was well rattled. Sean Mealy. Jimmy Cogan. This ball just carrying perhaps a little bit too much pace. Eddie Brennan did well, but lost out at the uh, sideline. And the referee 
blows the full-time whistle. No doubt about the Masters in Semple Stadium this afternoon. Not quite a memorable day for Davy Fitzgerald, but so many times in the past he's been the hero. But uh, despite not a good day in the office for Davy, Clare go through to the league final and can afford a smile with Charlie Carter. A very impressive display by the Banner County. Clare 221, Kilkenny 38, a 10 point victory for Clare. Yeah, we're starting to gel, gel well. Um, there's a good atmosphere in training, and um, you know things have gone well this year um, so far. But it's still early days. It's still only the end of April, and uh, you know, I suppose both ourselves and Tipper conscious that you know on the third of June, um, you know, only one team goes through, and, and, and that's I suppose, what everything's been geared towards. Well, for the moment, then Clare through to that league final. Their opposition will be last year's beaten finalist Tipperary, following their easy defeat of Galway yesterday. Here's Marty again with the best scores from Ennis. Conor Gleeson again. As Galway seem to have problems with the big midfielder. Declan Ryan coming through. Is Lar Corbett showing for the first time in this match? Thought about a goal! Absolutely superb. The first and only time he touched the ball in this opening half. 15 and a half minutes. He grabbed the slither for the first time, looked around, saw the spot available and lashed it past Liam Donahoe. Great goal. Well knocked down by Tomas Dunn. Picked up by Marco Leary. Back to the captain. That's very well won by Owen Kelly. Ollie Canning without a hurley. Can't stop the corner forward from getting his third point in this match. Conor Gleeson in the thick of the action trying to pick that ball up and uh, launch another Tipperary attack Paul Ormond Lar Corbett Eddie Enright, good vision sent up towards Declan Ryan brilliantly caught, turned and sent over the bar this is copybook stuff from a Tipperary attack that quite simply looks awesome the young and the old are mixing in a cocktail that looks simply unbeatable. The target is Declan Ryan, but it falls to Lar Corbett. Ryan has it now. Oh, what a finish. Absolutely deadly. You would travel far to get a better goal than this. As Eamon Corcoran sent this in, Declan Ryan couldn't avail of it the first time. Lark Corbett knocked it down for Ryan. What about that? We felt last year we, we didn't use the ball very well in the forwards. I mean, maybe it's a factor of becoming a bit more experienced where players are not shooting on sight. We had 56 wides in the championship last year in four games, which is, was enough to win most games. You know, we were beaten in, by two points in, in the games we lost. So like the lads have realised that we need to work on that and play more as a team and have less individualism and, and certainly less, less selfishness around the place. And uh, I'm thankful that that's, we're, in that regard we're playing much better this year. Yeah. So it's Tipperary versus Clare in the Ali 